How do I deal with that, man? I literally can't. Hit the two divine shields, please. Fairly useless. That's actually quite good for me. That's exactly what we needed, actually. Because now, we go bop. Boom. This does five damage, does two damage to the- No, wait, we run this into that. And then we combustion, and it kills off everything. Okay. Never mind, we're chilling. Easy game, easy life. Not even a problem. Was I ever worried? Not for a second. I think I should be able to win this. Again, I have an issue with the fact that we don't have that many damage spells, but it's fine. We're chilling. Babbling book. Primordial studies. Uh, cram session the following turn with a potentially cheaper spell damage minion. And we are fine. We are good to go. Cthune control priest. We have... Limited damage, but that's okay. Give me a fireball or something. Devolving. Not the greatest. I have a presentation in six hours. Help me. It's 2.30 a.m. here. Go to sleep. Best budget warlock deck. I actually have a budget um, deck out. And if you want to check that out. You. I like you. You give me a lot of draw power in two turns. So we'll take that. Hey Wallop, how's it going? How's the game? How are the games going? I'm about 50% win rate exactly today. Been goofing off. Tried to control Shaman, was not very good. Tried some meme decks, and by meme decks I mean Corrupt Priest, and it actually wasn't a meme, it was surprisingly decent. Face Hunter. Tried Death Rattle uh, Demon Hunter. A couple different versions of that until I found one that I liked. I don't know, now that I'm around 1,000 Legend again, I, I'm starting to, like, goof off a little bit. Just a smidge. Uh, Ruined Orb. We need proactive things that can do damage with extra spell damage, and that is where Ruined Orb comes in handy. But Frederick, as much as I enjoy your support and I enjoy you being here, your health and sleep and good presentation are more important. So, please, do me a solid. Go to sleep. Get some sleep. The other day, I almost died. Let me start over. I did not almost die, but I was drinking water and someone made me laugh as I was drinking. And then I just, I lost it. I started coughing like a madman. Another ruined orb is fine, I guess. Trade, this is fine. Pax's Blast for damage is pretty good. Mancrick with Babbling and One Thief are all good. As soon as we can get Agwin, we'll be able to win, probably. Once we can get Agwin and some extra spell damage, I wholeheartedly believe that we can win this game really, really fast. Do you live in Irvine, California? Well, I do go to UCI, so one could be, it could be deduced that I go to, or I live in Irvine, I guess. Not gonna give you any more specific information than that, but I mean, I don't really hide where I live, I guess. I wear my UCI sweatshirt all the time. See you some other time, I guess? I hope so, my friend. Good luck on your presentation. I believe in you. Spell. Give me a good spell. Of all of them, I think it was the best, I guess. Hit him for one. I mean, this hand is pretty good, kind of. If I could get spell damage, this hand would be insane. Fair enough. My poisonous minion actually lives. That's kind of cool. It's kind of poggers, if you will. Okay. 
So basically, I'm saying deal with this or die. If he can't kill off this 3-8, which is a little bit hard unless he has Hysteria, which he just... Which he just... Which he just top decked, so that's great. Um... I was gonna, like, win the game that turn by going boom, boom, maybe devolving, devolving, or boom, boom, devolving, ruined, ruined. But unfortunately... Unfortunately, I guess I'm just bad at the game. I'm a legend player, but stuck since I don't have a proper deck. Missing a lot of cards in Secret Librem Paladin and Face Hunter, but the meta changes, like, every week. It's so annoying. Um... Kind of is annoying. I would recommend, if you haven't already... Just make one deck, focus on one class, grind out the um, the battle pass for a bit, and you'll be fine. I have three devolving missiles. This is so useless. Give me a good thing. Oh, Mask of Cthulhu's a pretty good thing, I guess. Rain freeze. No, I trolled. Two masks? Mask next turn and two mask the turn after that? I mean, I guess. It gives me a lot of damage. And in order to, like, control the board, I've got devolving missiles out the wazoo. So, I mean, I might as well. I get the hesitation on crafting. True, that's fair. I'd say that next expand or next set of buffs slash nerfs would be a pretty safe time to then craft uh, the decks, personally. I'd say that that would be the case here. Devolving into Mask to do nine damage. Next turn we'll do this and get a spell damage minion and hopefully pop off, I don't know. Right now I'm a 6,000 legend. I mean, that's just still legend, dude. Don't worry about it. The fact that you got legend on a like budget where you didn't have any completed decks is still super impressive. Well, that's rude. I will break your body. Ugh, he's got so much healing. I actually don't know if I have enough damage. Bro, how much more healing do you have? You don't break the wall. Rough. I can't even get out of silver. Well, that's a different issue. That's, uh, sounds like a problem. Jandis is very good. I really like this card. It means that once I get to that turn, it'll pop off. We'll play Jandis. Probably, like, Brain Freeze that and this. Jandis. Um... I guess we can... F kill this off, maybe? That's fine. Don't have soul mirror, don't have soul mirror, don't have soul mirror, don't have soul mirror, don't have soul mirror. Please, 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 please. Renew, that's not soul mirror. We like to see it. How to climb to 2k legend? It seems impossible. Um, you gotta basically play meta or be like me and I've played so many games and know every single matchup to the point where you can kind of just figure everything out. Like, that's basically what I've done. I've played this game so, so much. I need help. How to climb out of silver? This is impossible. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, that is a lot of damage. We'll Devolving Missiles that again, I guess. Why would you be a 1-1 one, one Divine Shield minion? What the heck? Why? For what purpose? I'm losing my mind. I'm losing it. I do Apotheos. I mean, I guess it's fine. It's not that big of a deal, I guess. Oh. So cringe. I can cram session next turn, honestly. Like, it's actually not even that bad. It's just not great.
Draw me cards! Lab partner, not bad. Venom Scorpid, not bad. Mask of Cthulhu again! <laughs> Come on! Let's go! We can do it! We can slowly but surely kill him! We've used three Masks of Cthulhu and he's still not even close to being dead. Priest is tier S? True. Biggest problem of mine is probably the overthinking my ranked games and being afraid. True. Especially if you get to like Silver 1 or... Plat 1 or Gold 1 or 6 or whatever and you're about to rank up, it gets a lot more stressful. And even though if it, even if you don't like want it to be, it just does. That's just how it is. Trust me, man. We've all been there. We I get it. Don't kill my 2-3, please. Don't kill my 2-3, please. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. That's annoying. That's also annoying, but not that big of a problem, honestly. So I play Ross. Um, Brain Freeze. Devolving Missiles just to guarantee it because I'm not messing that up again. And then Scorpid for more damage and Ross is going to kill it off. Another math. There is no way that I'm not going to be able to kill this man. I have played, or woman I guess. I have played, this is going to be my fourth Mask of Cthulhu. I am not going to lose this game. I have another Mask of Cthulhu in my deck. I will have a Prime. I am losing my mind. There is no way I haven't won the game yet. Please. <laughs> I'm losing it. We still have Kazakus. And this is the times when I think Kazakus and something else being taken out for... Okay. He dreams Ross, potentially. Or the 2-3. That actually makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I have to do 18 damage. I can do 5. Uh, 11. Oh my god. If he has another Potheos, I'm so... Fudged. So do five, six, seven, thirteen, fourteen damage maximum. Wait, wait, no, wait. What am I talking about? I just trade here to kill that off, and then I go boom. That's eleven damage. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, that's lethal. That's lethal. Okay. And then he has two damage at the end. Okay. I forgot the I forgot the Scorpid had poisonous. That yeah. Yeah. Poison. Poison poison. It's very important. Very important. Whew, that was almost a whew. <laughs> Only took four masks of Cthulhu and like five spell damage to kill him eventually. Jeez Louise. Priest is so bonkers. Dreaming is over. This hand is actually phenomenal. It's actually nuts how good this hand is. Holy moly. All the way down to the Venomous Scorpid that, although isn't as good as some of the other cards, is still a three-cost card that generates... You know, I was just talking about how I don't play against Cthulhu Rogues ever. And now I'm playing against one, so that's kind of nuts. I'm kind of excited, actually. Also, I'm not really excited, because I know that it's super annoying. I need this to start a combo, so we're going to hold on to this. What deck do you recommend from Diamond 5 to Legend? Uh, Control Priest, Rush Warrior, um, Face Hunter, Aggro Paladin. Those four decks are the best ones in the game. And really have nothing that can really stop them. Like, sure, you can stop them, but it's very inconsistent. Do I want Mere Entity? Card draw or Devolving? I do already have Cram Session. I'll go Devolving. I'm assuming he's going to run Ticketmaster, and Devolving Missiles is going to stop Ticketmaster, so. Uh-oh. 
I'm not gonna play only control warlock silly heads. Combustion's probably best. Yeah, combustion's probably gonna be the best option here. I'm gonna be honest. Combustion's probably gonna be pretty good. I'm looking for a few good mercenaries. I'm gonna play Kazakus second, which is pretty bad, honestly. The two poisonous minions kill each other, that's fine, I guess. It's no biggie. Good mercenaries. Oh, spell damage is the second thing. I should have gone with divine shield. That's my bad. But Russian, that's not bad. Essentially, we're going to play this with combustion and try to regain control of the board in one turn. Oh my god, you're joking. There's no way. How do I deal with that, man? I literally can't. Hit the two divine shields, please. Fairly useless. That's actually quite good for me. That's exactly what we needed, actually. Because now, we go bop. Boom. This does 5 damage, does 2 damage to the- No, wait, we run this into that. And then we combustion and it kills off everything. Okay. Never mind, we're chillin'. Easy game, easy life. Not even a problem. Was I ever worried? Not for a second. How many secrets do you have? Ah! That was very lucky for the devolving missiles, to be f quite frank. But I'm- I'll take it, you know. No, should I only play control or will I get nowhere? Oh, should you only play control? No, but you should play other decks than control warlock. Control warlock's pretty bad. I mean, it's fine, but it's not great, you know? I mean... If I had coined first... I know that triggers nothing, but we're gonna kill that off so we can go face. I should have given it to cause um, what's his face? Kelthazod. Don't know how why I forgot his name for a second there. Do you need Solmir for playing Control Priest, or can you replace it with something? You don't need it, no. You can definitely run without it. It's gonna be harder, but you can run without it. It's not like game losing. No. Fair enough. Fair enough. Man crick, probably like ping. Man crick, pring, star scryer. Wait, yeah. Okay. I'm at 18. He's got five cards left. I don't think I need to worry about dying quite yet, but. It's very possible. All he needs to do is Secret Passage and get double Cheap Shot or whatever. Wicked Stab. I don't know why I thought it was Cheap Shot. Um, and he kills me, so. No, yeah, I will agree. The um, Paladin's Secrets are really frustrating, especially for only being one mana. Like, they're in the, in the value they get is insane. I don't agree with that Secret Passage right there. If I were him, I would have Secret Passage before I played the 1-3. Um, because now if I get any cards that are even kind of mid-range, I can't really play them. So, feels kind of weird to me. But that's just my own opinion, I guess. Into a prize plunder. My god, everything just worked out so well. So well for him. Into Mask. Please kill off everything. Not bad. Okay. That might be a problem. That is a problem. 
That's not a problem. That's one damage. It's nothing. Is mid range Demon Hunter still good? It never was. I'm just kidding. It, it it's kind of good. It's not great, I don't think, but it it does the job. It does the trick sometimes, you know. Ping ping babbling. Mask is a lot of damage. That's not an elemental, right? Okay. Ping ping babbling for more. Dude, I'm telling you, man. These Mask of Cthulhu's will kill him over the course of two more turns if we're able to get there. The problem is, can I get there? He's at 10, double Wicked Stab will kill me. So, we're in a bit of a pickle. But, if he doesn't have two Wicked Stabs, I can still win the game. He's only got four cards in hand, they could be anything. His deck is diluted because he had Cthulhu pieces, so it's a little bit less consistent that he has like really good stuff. I actually think that I'm in a decent spot right now, and I hope that I don't get proven wrong. Secret Passage is probably his best option there. How's the bug? The bug is playing it safe, and he's somewhere up in the stratosphere right now. He's like, I'm not messing with you. I, I get it. I almost did the thing again where I inhaled the water instead of swallowing it like a normal person. No! Wicked stab that? You're not going into my face? What? Oh, fudge. Wait, that's really bad. Okay, never mind. That's really bad. Fair enough. Tomato, tomato. That's not the correct use of that saying, but you know what I mean. So if I go... Firebrand into Mask of Cthulhu. Is that better or worse than playing Devolving Missiles Mask of Cthulhu? I think that it's worse. I think the correct course of action is to go ping ping or hit ping. Devolving. Yes, you draw cards, I mask, and I see if I can kill him next turn with mask, and I hope he doesn't kill me. He's at 10 mana, but he used a wicked stab, not on my face for some reason. Like, it's not even like I was gonna kill him. He knew he had Mancrick to soak a ton of Mask of Cthulhu damage. I don't think he should have wicked stabbed the 3-2. If he hadn't done that, I'm at 4 HP right now, and he very easily kills me. So that was a misplay from him that I think will win me the game. Hopefully it does, maybe not, I don't know. I had a friend, he would literally be like, watch this, and he would breathe water. Idiot. <laughs> Scorpid, fine, fair enough. Armor, that is kind of bad for me, isn't it? Too. We don't need to push as much damage right now. Shooting star. Mm. Two minions on board. They survived Heart of Cthulhu. They're a bit too powerful. He gained some armor. I could still maybe kill him. Oh boy. This is a dangerous game, man. A dangerous, dangerous game. Hmm. My whole hunter deck is neutral cards because I thought the teeth icon meant hunter. Pelican, no! You gotta be, you gotta be memeing. There's no way. Please tell me you're memeing. No one crosses the okay, shadow step. To play it again so we can get a firebrand. No so wait, you can play what? Spend Don't kill? Oh, okay. It's bad. It's not game losing. Bad. Okay. I think we win. I'm pretty sure that I win. 
Even if it's dirty tricks, we go shooting star. Then we'll go brain freeze mask. And mask, okay. Oh my god, we managed to win. Okay. Ugh. To be fair, the Prime was a really good top deck. Like, if I need- if I didn't have Mask, the Prime was my next best option, but like... Oh my god! We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. So the plan for mid-range mage is simple. Basically, you want to do one of two things. Basically, one, you want to play minions on the board, get that tempo going, and then eventually finish them off with cards like Kazakus, Agwin, Ross, Jandis, and Mancrick or Olgra, whichever one you end up getting later on in the game. Um, but the other way is by getting Agwin into your deck as soon as possible with the Death Rattle, and then trying to burst them down with Ruined Orb, Mask of Cthulhu, or any other damage spell that you might discover. You can't run Fireball because you run Kazakus, but in my opinion, having the 5-5 Golems out on the board potentially uh, is more worth it. It'll just end up doing more damage overall and give you board presence, so it's a change I made. Um, and then you could also take out one Shooting Star for Mask of Cthulhu, but if you're playing against a lot of Hunters or Paladins, Shooting Star is kind of mandatory. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And in terms of Mulligan's Babbling Book, uh, Lab Partner, Primordial Studies, One Thief, Star Scryer, and Man Trick are the main focuses. Hopefully you guys enjoy. See you in the next one.